Hi friends, Miss Glenn here. Welcome to math lesson number nine. Today we are going to do a math mind warm up that helps us remember the different ways that we can decompose 10. So we're gonna be finding partners to 10, okay? And then we're gonna do our number of the day and then we're going to do our application problem and we are going to end with a picture problem that's gonna help us um, write number sentences and fill in number bonds. So here we go. We're gonna start with a math finger flash. I need you to see how many fingers I flash and how many more would I need to get to 10. Okay, here we go. How many fingers was that? Six fingers. How many more does six need to get to 10? Four more. So our number sentence could be six plus four equals 10. Good job. Okay, here's the next one. How many did you see there? Nine, nine. How many more does nine need to get to 10? One, so what would our number sentence be? Nine plus one equals 10. Good job, how about one more? Did you see it? Seven, yeah, very good, seven. How many more does seven need to get to 10? Three, so what's our number sentence? Seven plus three equals 10. Good job. All right, now I heard a rumor that some of you guys have x-ray vision. Is it true? Okay, we're gonna find out if you have x-ray vision. So I have 10 cubes here. We have 10 cubes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I need you to close your eyes and I'm gonna take some of these cubes and put them behind my back. You're gonna have to use your math skills and your x-ray vision to see how many cubes are hiding behind my back. Okay, close your eyes. Okay, I have some cubes behind my back. Let's see, I have five, six, seven, eight left. How many are behind my back? Hmm, well, I could put the part that I have, eight, in my head and count up to the whole. We know the whole is 10. That's how many start we started with. Eight, nine, 10. How many? If you said two, then you, my friend, have x-ray vision. There were two hiding behind my back. Okay, let's try another one. Close your eyes. Okay, how many are behind my back now? We have five, six left here. How many are behind my back? How many more do we need to get to 10? If you said four, you have x-ray vision. You are right, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good job. Okay, how about one more? I'm gonna make this one really tricky. Hmm, close your eyes. Oh my goodness, there's only one cube left. How many must be behind my back? Hmm. I think I have one. I have to get all the way up to 10. If you said nine, then you are right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There were nine cubes behind my back. One plus nine more equals 10. Okay, good job. We're gonna move on to our number of the day. And um, remember, if you don't have this sheet, it's still really good for you to follow along because it helps build your number sense. And if you want this sheet, then I'll link it in the comment below so you can download it and either use it on your computer or print it out. Our number of the day today is going to be nine. So I'm gonna write my nine, and then I'm gonna write the word out, nine, N-I-N-E. Then I'm gonna move on to my tally box, and I'm gonna make nine tallies. Now who remembers what I do at the fifth tally? What do I do at the fifth tally? 
I make a slash across one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I have nine tallies and I can easily see it. Group of five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do my drawing and then fill in my 10 frame. And when I do my drawing, I'm not gonna draw them all over the page. I'm not gonna draw them all in one row. I'm gonna draw them and pretend I'm actually drawing them in a 10 frame. So five on the top row, and then that's full. I'm gonna go to the next row. So here I have my drawing, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I can see it in my 10 frame, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Good. Then I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna do one more and one less. What is one more than nine? How do I how do I find one more? Counting on or counting back? One more is counting on. So I'll have my nine and I have to count them one. Nine, ten. One more than nine is ten. Okay? Then I have to find one less. And when I have to find one less, I have to count back. So again, I'm starting at nine. I'm going to count back one. Nine, eight. One less than nine is eight. Good job. Then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to do my base 10 blocks. And we haven't hit the number 10 yet. We're still under 10. We're only at nine. So it's just going to look like nine little blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Those are gonna be my nine blocks, okay? Oh, and this is the first day that we're doing the dice box. So we have to talk about that. Now, we have to think about what a dice looks like. The dice has six different sides. I'm gonna show you all of them. A dice has one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's as high as this dice goes. It cannot go higher than six. So we have to think, how can we use dice to show nine? Hmm, oh, well, let's see. I could do five and four. I have both of those numbers on my dice and that makes nine, five, and four. I could do that. Let's see, what's another way I can break up nine? Well, I can break up nine, seven, and two, but can I, can I show that on my dice? Does my dice have a number seven? Thumbs up or thumbs down? No, my dice doesn't have a number seven. Remember, the highest number on my dice is a six, so I can't go any higher than that. Let's see, what if I had a six? What if I used six? How many more would I need to get to nine if I had six? Let's see, here's my nine. If I had six, how many more? Three, I can do that. I have a six and a three on my dice. So I need to draw two squares because I'm gonna need two dice to show nine because it only goes as high as six, remember. And we said our first one is gonna be six. So I'm gonna draw that the same pattern in my first box. So I have six. And then in this one, we said six needs three to get to nine. So I'm gonna draw my three just like that. The three dice has three dots diagonally across the square. So six, seven, eight, nine. Great job. That was tricky. That was the first time that we've done, used dice to represent a number. So that was awesome. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to our application problem. So go ahead and get your application journal out. Remember, if you don't have that, you can use a piece of paper or a whiteboard or whatever you have. Now, when we do our application journal, we don't flip to the middle of our page or middle of our book. That'll confuse us. We find the very next blank page, and that is where we're going to work. OK, 
Okay, so once you have that page open, your next blank page, close your eyes. And I'm going to read the math problem to us, and I need you to visualize it in your mind. So picture what's happening in your, in your brain. Okay, here we go. Kira was making a bracelet with a total of 10 beads on it. She's put three red beads on so far. How many more beads does she need to add to the bracelet? Explain your thinking in a picture, a number bond, and a number sentence. Okay, you can open your eyes, listen again, and watch my hands this time. Kira was making a bracelet with a total of 10 beads. She's put three red beads on so far. How many more beads does she need to put on to get to 10? Explain your thinking in a picture, a number bond, and a number sentence. All right, so let's see, we'll start with a picture. So what could we draw? Hmm, what could we draw to show this problem? Well, we know how many beads does she have on the bracelet in total? 10 beads. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw 10 beads. And I'm going to draw them like they're in a 10 frame so it's easier for me to see. There's my 10 beads. Does she have more than 10 beads or does she have a total of 10 beads? She has a total of 10 beads, so we're not adding any more. This is our big number. How many red beads did she already put on the bracelet? Three. So of these 10 beads, she already put three of them on. So I'm going to circle three of them. Okay, those are the beads she already put on. So that means how many more does she need to add to get to 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Good. Now I'm going to make my number bond because that's going to help me write my number sentence. All right, here's my number bond, part, part, whole. How many does she have in total? How many beads does she have in total? All together, she has 10 beads, good. And then what are the two parts? What are the two parts? How many did she have on at first? Three. And we said that she needed to put how many more on to get to 10? Seven. Good job. All right. And the last thing we have to do is write our number sentence. Now, remember, our number sentence is going to go right along with our problem. So let's listen to the first number that we hear. Kira was making a bracelet with a total of 10 beads. What number is the first number that we heard? 10. So she had a total of 10 beads. Now remember, we just did this for the first time yesterday. If we're starting with the total, what's going to come next? A plus sign or an equal sign? Show me, plus sign or equal sign? An equal sign is going to come next. Very good. So 10, she start, She we knew she was going to have a total of 10 beads when she was done, right? So 10 equals how many beads did she have to start? How many red beads? She has put on three red beads so far. So our next number is going to be three. Plus, what's our other part? How many more did she need to add to get to 10? Seven, good job. So 10 equals 3 plus 7. Beautiful job. When you're done with that, you can put a big star or a smiley face on your paper because you did an awesome job. And then you may put your application journal to the side. We are done with that for now. And we're going to end today with... A little math problem. So let's see. Hmm, who can help me out here? How many stars are in our first group over here? Four.
four stars. So in my first box here, I'm going to put a four. Four plus how many stars are in our group over here? Two. Okay, so four stars plus two stars equals a total of how many stars? How many stars are there all together? We can start here and count on. We know this is four, five, six. So we have a total of six stars. Great. And the last thing we have to do is just fill in our number bond. So let's see. Um, what are the two parts? What are the two groups that we have within six here? Four and two. So those are going to be our parts. Four and two. And what's our whole number? Our total, our big number. How many stars do we have all together? Six. Great job. Yeah, we have six stars all together. Okay, so that sums up our math lesson for today. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let's end on a positive note. Two thumbs up. Point them at yourself. Say, I am a mathematician. Good job, guys. You rocked lesson number nine. I will see you next time for lesson 10.